Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a method here on how to upgrade a Windows 7 computer to Windows 11 without having to pay for a new Windows 11 license. Here we have this gateway laptop, it's an NV55S38U laptop from, I'm going to say around 2011 roughly. It's a uh, computer that came with Windows 7 factory installed and it still has its factory 107 installation. So it has never seen an upgrade to Windows 8, Windows 10, or Windows 11. Therefore, there theoretically should not be a Windows 8, 8.1, 10, or 11 digital license out there on the internet. So that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to start the install for Windows 10. Okay, so I got everything plugged in. Let's go ahead and insert the Windows 10 USB installation media into a USB port. And it's going to start this thing up. Chose 64 bit. Okay, so we'll go ahead and run through setup. Okay, so for this part, we're actually going to enter the product key. We're going to use the product key that is on the CLA sticker on the bottom of this machine, which is for Windows 7 Home Premium. Okay, so what it did is it accepted the Windows 7 product key and what it's going to do is it's going to install Windows 10 Home. So accept the license terms and select next. We'll choose custom. Select new, apply, hit OK. And we can see it did create a system reserve partition. Of course on drive zero. The same drive that Windows is getting installed on. So leave it where it's at and select next and we'll let this install okay now let's go ahead and run through setup first let's go ahead and disconnect our internet connection temporarily that way it can't try to force us to do a Microsoft account so we're going to select yes to this We'll select yes to this. We'll select skip on this. I don't have internet. Continue limited setup. Put my name in here just for now. Skip that part. Turn off all this crap here. And of course, Windows 10 and Windows 11, <clears throat> they they fail to ask you the important questions like what time zone are you in? Or what is the current date and time? Or what would you like to name your computer? Not now on that. And get task manager up here turn that off and you can see we basically took a shortcut to the desktop there
And what we need to do is we'll need to plug this back into the internet. That way we can get updates installed. Mainly concerned about drivers and things like that. In the meantime, we can go in here to settings. And go to activation, and you can see that we are activated with a digital license. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and insert our Windows 11 installation media. Now I do want to emphasize that this USB installation media was set up with Rufus to bypass the CPU and TPM checks for Windows 11 as well as bypass all the dumb questions about setting up a user account. This system here because it has the uh, the A6 3420M processor it's well below the minimum processor specified in the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements for Windows 11. This system does not have TPM 2.0. It doesn't have secure boot. It's not even a UEFI system so this thing is definitely well below the uh, minimum requirements set forth in the Microsoft Elite Class minimum system requirements for Windows 11. So when we install Windows 11 on a system that does not meet the Microsoft Elite Class Middle System Requirements from Windows 11. You have to keep in mind that the uh, you will not receive feature updates automatically. I've heard there's actually a registry hack to get around that, but the alternative is if you decide to go the uh, install on unsupported PC route, um, you will generally still receive security updates while the current feature build is supported but eventually you would have to manually do a installation of the newer feature update which you can do an in-place upgrade of you just have to manually download Windows 11 the the new version that's out at that point and um, of course use Rufus to set it up to bypass the elite class requirements and then you could do an in-place upgrade on your Windows 11 unsupported system. And I do have a video on YouTube about that. So, we're going to ignore that restart. We're just going to go ahead and try to start Windows 11 installation. And I should mention that um, what I just did, you could also do an in-place upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10. I just went the clean install route because, well, I wanted to get that old slow hard disk drive out of this machine. So, we know for a fact that we can do a clean install of Windows 10 and activate using Windows 7 product key. Or, yeah, activate using a Windows 7 product key. You can also do an in-place upgrade, although I didn't do it here on this video. You can, in fact, do an in-place upgrade to um, Windows 10 from Windows 7 using for example, 22H2 Windows 10. That being said, let's go ahead and start installation. What we'll do is we'll do an in-place upgrade this time. Now I should mention that um, if you don't care about what's on the computer, you could in fact do a clean install Thought this thing had a CD in the drive. So I'm gonna go in here and turn this to not right now. 
And of course, since this installer has the checks bypassed, it just ignores them and moves forward with setup. And what we can do is we can choose, we can, like I said, we're going to do an in-place upgrade, so we'll simulate doing an in-place upgrade. So we'll install Windows 11 Home, keep personal files and apps. We'll select install and let this begin installation. So this is going to take a little while. And we'll come back once it's done. Okay, everybody, so the upgrade has completed. We are now in Windows 11. So for example, if we go down to activation, you can see that Windows is activated. So we are good to go. We now have Windows 11 on this system. So we essentially have upgraded in place, well partially in place, from Windows 7 to Windows 11 using the Windows 7 license. So that way you do not have to buy a new Windows license. You are able to just upgrade from Windows 7 to Windows 10 and then from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well everybody, that wraps up for this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.